And see, a lot of people, they will, they, they, when it comes to prayer, they want me to pray for them. They want me to pray for their loved ones or somebody so they will be healed. And they'll say, uh, we even had one person, and I'm here, I'm not making fun of anybody or anything else. I'm, I'm just stating some of the things. But one of them said, is it better, uh, can you send a prayer cloth? Will that work? Or is it better to get them on the phone? You know, which prayer works better? No prayer works better than another prayer. What works is faith. And the thing is, it's not even my praying. See, many times people say, would you pray for this? And that's their way of saying they need help. And so they expect me to utter words that would pray and be prayer. And I do. I pray. If people ask me to pray, we will pray. But the key is not the prayer. It's not in the words. It's in the believing. Because see, if I pray without believing, nothing's going to happen. But if, but if I, now get this, but if I believe, even without praying, it's still going to happen. Do, do you see that? So the key is believing. Just like uh, I think I was talking about earlier last Sunday, or I think it was last Sunday, or a while back, whenever I talked about uh, the difference between becoming and being. Well, see, prayer is kind of becoming. Believing is being. Do you get that? Because all that, all, the only reason prayer works is because at some point while I'm speaking, I decide to believe this is done. Amen. If I don't believe that, I can pray all day long and nothing's going to happen. And many times, now, you can pray or say or have you want to say it, and you can pray and pray for an hour and nothing happens. Or you can pray and believe the first second you open your mouth, and it's already done. And then if you want to keep praying for an hour, glory to God, right? Sometimes you pray for an hour, and you don't believe until the last minute of the hour, and that's when it's done. Sometimes you can pray yourself into believing. What are you doing? You're saying what God has said, and you're getting your faith to rise up, and then it hits, right? Other times you can pray yourself into unbelief. Now, and that's when you start praying wrong. Oh, God, if it's your will. Oh, God, if it's not your will. Oh, God, touch so-and-so. God, okay, God's not going to touch anybody. Do you get that? He's not going to touch anybody. He has already healed. So it's not about what he's going to do. See, that's the problem. Oh, God's going to heal me. Oh, that's a person of great faith. No, it's not. That's a, that's a person of doubt and unbelief. Why? Because God's not going to. He already has. Great faith is God has done this thing. By his stripes, I'm healed. Now, if you're coming, for instance, if you're coming to me to minister to you, your faith or unbelief does not matter to me. The fact that you come is all that counts to me, and I'm going to believe when I lay hands on you. Amen? Amen. So I'm not, I'm not trying to get your faith up to where you can get it for yourself, because if that were true, and, and I don't mind if you do that, you don't need to come down here down front and get prayed for. Because it was done the minute you believed. Does this make sense? 